Hi, I'm Darren from Aircraft and today we're going to talk about some amazing new technology for heat pumps from Mixergy. We're going to be talking about the new heat pump cylinder and how to install it with a fantastic Daikin air source heat pump system. So firstly, let's just talk about the fundamental differences of the cylinder. Most cylinders use an indirect coil, as this does, but this is using a plate heat exchanger. 40 plates are installed to make sure the maximum energy transfer from the heat pump can be provided, which means we can run the heat pump at much lower flow temperatures to maintain the highest seasonal coefficient of performance, which is really what the heat pumps are all about. The cylinder has a sensor network on board which runs the length from the top to the bottom of the cylinder. This measures the temperature at all different levels of the tank and is controlled by its onboard unit, which is basically the brain of the system, and we'll talk about how that works a little bit later. The plate heat exchanger is quite clever because this allows the design of the tank to be much, much slimmer and have a smaller footprint, which means for retrofits we can get them into the tight spaces that we often find on site. So the plate the heat exchanger works in conjunction with a variable speed pump. This means that the flow temperature primaries from the heat pump system can be varied to deliver the right amount of energy at the right time. This in fact means that the heat pump can actually increase its COP while operating in hot water mode by up to 10%. So the flow from the heat pump when working in hot water mode leaves the diverter valve, is then piped into this 3 quarter inch boss at the top of the plate heat exchanger, passes through the plate heat exchanger and then it back out at the bottom into the return circuit. So mechanically, everything external external to the heat pump heat exchanger is identical to any normal heat pump heating and hot water system. As you'd expect, it's a mains pressure unvented system, so all the usual safety regulations and rules apply in fitting this. So the system is powered by a single 16 amp supply, which operates the onboard controller, the control gauge, the pumps, and most importantly, the backup immersion heater. So using the Mixergy app on your phone, you can control the system in any way you wish. You can use electric backup at any time, scheduled heating modes, or just purely the heat pump itself. So the controller will automatically control the immersion to top up the tank should the heat pump need to deploy itself in space heating mode instead. Now we're going to talk about control and the techniques that we use to operate this system. We'll look at the resistor switch, which is important for the heat pump, and we'll also look at the internet connectivity. Firstly, we'll discuss how the Mixergy tank communicates with the heat pump, and then we'll move on to see how it works with the customer and the app. The cylinder has a sensor network running from top to bottom, which provides lots of useful data Data, far more useful than just a single sensor pocket thermostat that really isn't suitable for this type of operation. So they've got a clever resistor switch which is wired directly to the heat pump to enable this to operate in the way that the heat pump is meant to. And the resistor switch has adjustable potentiometers to enable it to be set up for each and every model of heat pump available. So the two resistance settings for the Daikin Altherma high temperature is 25k ohms high on and 4k ohms high off. This allows the heat pump to work in the way that it's supposed to and to the heat pump the system looks like a normal thermistor that comes shipped with the product. So Mixergy will provide you with the resistance values you need for the particular heat pump model that you're working with and as part of your installation process two screws onto the cover of the resistance switch will reveal the dip switches and the potentiometers which will need to be adjusted accordingly. The system comes with a timer control cable for connecting into third-party thermostats and programmable controllers like Nest or Hive, but really for a heat pump they're not really used. And the cable doesn't carry a live voltage so if you don't use it you just leave it coiled up behind the cylinder. So one of the most amazing things about this system is it actually talks to the internet to allow all this clever stuff to happen. And how it does this is using a very simple TP-Link power over ethernet adapter to make connection to your network at home, very, very simple and extremely plug and play. So a top tip with a power over ethernet device is to plug it into a socket as close to your home router as possible. If you don't do this and it's too far from the circuit, you're gonna have problems. So you'll know when you're connected to the internet successfully because you'll have a blue light solid on the gauge and three solid lights on the power over ethernet device. So now we've plumbed the cylinder, we've put the power to it and we've connected it to the internet. We can now talk about commissioning the system and setting it up. So to commission the cylinder, you use the Mixergy Enterprise Installer app, and once downloaded, you can enter the necessary parameters. So you choose your heat source, you choose your target tank temperature, and you would ignore, in this case, any external programmable sources. So to set up the cylinder, I scan the QR code. That gives me the serial number of the tank to register on the Mixergy Cloud Network. I choose my heat source, I choose my target tank temperature, and we're ready to go. So we're not connected to any external controls, so we can ignore any third-party signals for the cylinder 
and we've basically finished commissioning. So now we're ready to hand over to your customer and to do that we need to show them how to download the Mixergy customer app and get an account set up. Once they've got that they're now in full control of their system. So now the customer can enter into their app, their preferences, their schedules or if they prefer they can just use the Mixergy's own machine learning and have it run fully automatically. And the system comes with its own fail safes. To prevent short cycling of the heat pump, the system only allows the heat pump to operate in domestic hot water mode and switch on the compressor once per hour. Should it need topping up in the meantime, it'll just call in the immersion. And to get the most from your system, you can take advantage of all the new technology that's coming out on the market, both in the energy supply market and in PV market. Surplus PV can be used direct into the immersion system, or if you have something like Octopus Agile, demand-side response technology enables you to get the best out of your tariffs. So the app allows the customer to track their spend, monitor their hot water performance, and to boost the system should they need to. So we've talked about the important differences of this amazing system. We've plumbed it, we've powered it, we've commissioned it, and we've handed it over to the customer, who can now sit and relax and enjoy very superior hot water performance. So if you really do get stuck, you can always call Mixergy. They have excellent guys on the phone available to talk to you, or they can come to site. And if you wish, you can benefit from some of our experiences and get in touch with us at Aircraft.